What's up guys, it's Hypno here, welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are playing my main deck basically, but we have wall breakers over the fire spirit. So yeah, we're in the first game here against Take, a really good goblin giant player, and he has triple spell also, so gonna be kind of tough here. Okay, interesting goblin giant kite here. I'm just gonna pressure him with wall breakers, because I know I can easily defend that. Okay, pretty nice Valkyr. I'm also gonna Goblins. Okay. I'm gonna pressure here because... Yeah, really nice. Okay, he has to defend the left side. Look at that. <laughs> he knows. He knows. He got outplayed there. Not the best Goblin Giant Kai, to be honest. Kind of like... Too aggressive. Okay. Oh my god, bad. Okay, I'm gonna call the early GGC because I know he's gonna bar barrel. Yeah. <laughs> That's game. <laughs> Look at that now. He has no arrows in Psycho. He can't stop this. I mean, like this he can stop it, but it's still game. Like, he can stop the 3 crown, but he can't stop me from winning the game. He can try to come back, but there's no way, bro. <laughs> Okay, he's probably gonna Goblin Giant in front of this, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna rocket that. That Dark Goblin, okay. He has to arrow that, but... Now I can just go with my Goblins and Skellies to pressure. He doesn't want to respawn to that. But look at that damage, really nice damage. I'm just gonna Warbreaker to pressure a bit more. Okay, he wastes his Knight, that's really good. I don't think that Sparky's gonna do anything, to be honest. Okay, he goes for Little Prince in the back. I'm just gonna go for another rocket, I feel like. Okay, <laughs> not the best rocket. But it's fine, I'm just gonna block the Sparky shot and my Dark Goblin takes care of that. Okay, just gonna go for Evil Skellies here. Okay, they die, but that's fine. I'm just gonna clean up everything with my Valk, Goblins, and Ice Spirit. Okay, really nice. Yeah, <laughs> he's not gonna break through. That was a pretty perfect game besides that rocket, right? But I, I read him perfectly at the start there. Knewing he would go for Bar Barrel and had nothing for my Evo Skellies. GG's. We're in the next game here against Hoopa. This guy is a... Mega Knight Prince player, so yeah, let's see. I'm just gonna Valk in the back here to take care of that little prince. Okay, he ignores the goblins. Okay, he princes in the back. I don't know what that prince is. He should have put it onto the Valk's lane. Okay, I'm just gonna kite that with my wall breakers. Pretty bad Mega Knight Prince push, to be honest. Look at that Mega Knight going onto my Valk because I kited with my wall breakers. And I can just block the prince with my skellies and my goblins. Look at that, clean defense. I'm just gonna ignore that uh, Mega Knight and go in. Okay, I'm gonna Ice Spirit. Okay, really nice. I keep the Dark Goblin alive and that's game. <laughs> Bro, that Mega Knight and Prince push first play. <laughs> Not really the best play, bro. Don't do that next time. <laughs> okay, he gave up already. <laughs> Man. <laughs> what? What was that? I don't, I don't really know how he thought he would break through there, but okay, I'll take it. I'm just gonna 3 crown him here. So, really nice game. And, man, I really hope next balance changes, they finally buff the Evo Valk, because, man, the first Evos they put out, like Evo, Evo Knight and stuff, Evo Cracker back then, all of them were broken, but now they released Evo Ice Bird, which was one not really great and Evo Valk, which is not really great. So I really hope Evo Valk gets a buff so I get to play her again. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next game. We're in the next game against friend here. This guy is one of the best Lava Hound players in the game. So gonna be pretty interesting against him here because he has a really good matchup with the Arrow um, Snowball version. Because we also don't have the Fire Spirit I would rather have Fire Spirit over Wall Breakers here. 
but it's fine. It's not the worst matchup, but it def definitely favors him mm, by a lot. So, okay, interesting Lava Hound. I don't know if that's the best because he doesn't have arrows in cycle for my Dark Goblin. So I can just go for Dark Goblin to the side like this and block the Inferno Dragon. Okay, really nice Dark Goblin value here to be honest. Not the best Lava Hound. I'm just gonna pressure him with War Breakers and um, Barrel here because I know he still doesn't have arrows. So, okay, really nice damage from the Barrel. And we get a wall breaker connection. Okay, really nice wall breaker connection there. Kind of lucky that the bomber didn't kill the um, wall breaker. Okay, I'm just gonna counter that with my ice spirit. Okay, I'm just gonna dart goblin here. I feel like he won't be able to afford arrows in time to take my tower. Okay, sh <laughs> I think that's tower. Hmm. Okay, but I can pressure him really nicely. Okay, that's not tower. Okay, one wall breaker, please. Okay, he has to snowball, that's good. Okay, we are in the game. Nothing's lost yet. I'm gonna pressure him here. He's most likely gonna go for knight. Okay, and what's good is that to take my tower, he needs like balloon death bomb or something, or he has to arrows and snowball my tower. So really good, he still needs to commit like 5 elixir to my tower at least with spells to take it. Um, so that's good. But still, really bad situation here. Okay, he snowballs my tower. I'm just gonna pressure him with goblins here and then I'm gonna try to take his left side tower. Okay, okay, he ignores those goblins, really interesting. I'm just gonna pressure with wall breakers here. Okay, he arrows those, okay, that's rocket range. Hmm, but I can't rocket his tower. If I rocket his tower, he just takes my tower with Loon. I need to take his tower some other way. Okay. Okay. I need really need to bait out the arrows or something. So he doesn't... Okay, okay, wait. No way he arrowed. He, he can't take my right side tower now. I don't think that Balloon is gonna take my tower. Bro. <laughs> no way. <laughs> He can't take my tower. <laughs> he lost. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> yeah, oops. Yeah, he knows. He choked that. He should have won. <laughs> We're in the next game against Donato here. This guy is a Royal Giant main. He pretty much runs Royal Giant all the time. So, okay, yeah. He definitely runs Royal Giant right now. Okay, pretty nice. We force out 6 elixir with the wall breakers. Pretty aggressive royal giant. Okay, he's probably gonna log onto that. Okay, he has bar pearl. Okay. Hmm. That gets a lot of damage, but I feel like we will get something in return here. He's not gonna be able to defend those wall breakers for sure. He doesn't have any elixir. And maybe that bug can survive for a bit. Okay, never mind. That bug is dead. But at least we kill his Ewis also. Okay, better start for him to be honest here. He just went in like a no-brain with the RG, even though he spent more elixir than I did. But it's fine, we can still come this back, even though it's a pretty hard matchup. So let's see. I wanna keep my Evo Skellies ready here if he tries to go in for like a RG push with something else or something. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna Valk in the back here. Then I'm gonna pressure with wall breakers. I really want to force out something here. Okay, he goes for Fisherman. That's really good for us. He really needed that Fisherman for the Valk. Okay, not the best RG. I'm just gonna Evo Skellies on that and use my Ice Spirit. So the Evo RG doesn't kill my Evo Skellies faster. Okay, really nice look at that. The Evo RG is dead before it kills the Evo Skellies. And now he has to deal with that Valk and Dark Goblin. I can just surround that ghost with my goblins here and put wall breakers in front of that. Never mind, I'm gonna put it behind the Valk and then Skellies and Ice Spirit. Okay, never mind, I'm gonna keep my Ice Spirit here because I'd rather have it for defense. And I'm just gonna pressure with Barrel here because now I feel like I don't really pressure the need to pressure the left side anymore because I got so much damage on the right. Okay. Just gonna wall breakers here in a sec. Okay. 
Okay, decent fisherman, but not the best. Once again, he wants to spoil the bulk, so not the best fisherman. That bulk's taking pretty good care of that Aji. I'm also gonna Evo Skellies, but now I have to be really careful of his next Evo Aji. Okay, I just want a bell. Okay, never mind, I need to defend this Evo Aji. Okay, the bulk and Dark Goblin are putting in work. Okay, he fireballs that Dark Goblin, but I feel like that Evo Aji is not gonna do it. Okay. Really nice, good defense. Okay, that fisherman is gonna pull the bulk. <laughs> that game, really nice. We can just rocket the tower here. Man, really bad fisherman to be honest there. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next game. Okay, we're in the last game for today's video against Slash. I know this guy is a 3M player, so should be a pretty decent matchup here. Because, yeah, I have pretty good answers against 3M. And depending on what support cards he has, let's see. I should have a pretty good matchup here. Okay, I think he probably has, like, pump also. Oh, he definitely has pump. Yeah. Almost every 3M deck with Little Prince and Knight has pump. Okay, he has e -bobs. I'm just gonna go for a Wallbreaker Kite here. And start sniping with my dart goblin. That dart goblin is gonna put in work. I'm just gonna freeze this e -bobs here and kite them with my goblins so the heal spirit doesn't heal them. Then I can just go for my evil skellies onto the ghost. Okay. Okay, he has rage. Hmm. Okay, I should have put my wall breakers in the middle for a wall breaker split, but it's fine. Because he wouldn't have had elixir to defend both lanes. Okay, I'm just gonna put Ice Spirit here because he wants to ignore that. And with the Ice Spirit, he can't ignore that. Or if he ignores it, that Ice Spirit gets 1200 damage with the Dart Goblin. So, really worth it, Ice Spirit. Okay, I'm just gonna rocket that. Okay. Let's see. Okay, he has four elixir more right now, but it's fine. We don't really have to be too careful here. Because we only have to be careful of like an Evo Knight push or something. Don't really care about the Royal Ghost. You can always surround that with ice uh, with goblins or gob with goblins or skellies. Man. <laughs> okay, I can just ice spirit like that. I feel like those ebobs are not gonna do anything. Yep, those e are basically dead already. Okay, really nice dart goblin value also. Alright, I'm just gonna rocket that. Okay, I can just um, Evo Skeddies onto this royal ghost. Okay, he has to rage. Okay, yeah, he goes for the rage. But those e are not gonna do anything. Look at my dart goblin already putting work again. Okay, look at the kind of pressure we get here. Okay, really nice. Pretty good um, little prints from him here, but that doesn't really matter because he already took so much damage on both lanes, so I feel like it's kind of game. I don't really know how he wants to come this back because I have pretty good defense against him, so yeah. Okay, I don't really want to play my rocket here. I'm just gonna cycle back to my next bulk. I'm just gonna Evo Skellies here. He has to rage, but I'm already back to my next goblin, so I'm not really worried about that. I can just go for my wall breakers here once the mask dies. Okay, that's game. Okay, never mind, it's not game, because I put my barrel in the front and he managed to get the ability down in time, so pretty good from him and not the best from us, but it's still game because he's not gonna come this back. Okay. I don't want to play my rocket here once again. I just want to defend without it. Also, I'm gonna... Okay, I'm not gonna pressure him here because I'm just gonna play safe defense because there's no way he's gonna win the game if he doesn't break through. Okay, now I can just pressure him because I have my evil skellies. Also, I have my dark gob... Uh, my bulk and my goblins if he tries to, like, rage my evil skellies or something. Okay, pretty good ability once again. But now he can't defend my barrel plus wall breakers because he needs the little prince to defend that for 
like no damage. Yeah, exactly. Now I can just rocket the tower. Really nice game here. And yeah, we are top 30 in the world right now. So GG's. And I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.